success, Petey Green's Washington became an underground hit and allowed Petey to invite anyone he wanted onto the show. My guest tonight is a young man who I think that he's, uh, he's sharp. Of course, everybody don't agree with me. White people say he's gross. Black people say he's intelligent. I don't know. How come I don't get no big chair? I'm talking to Howard, uh, what's your name? Stern Nipsey. <laughs> so now, you know, I like when you rhyme. I like when you rhyme, Nipsey. Do that for me. You look like Nipsey. <laughs> Nipsey Russell. Hey. But the whole, hold it now. You know, ain't no cracker gonna take over now. You know, you got, now, hey. now, now hold. You, the one thing about it already, see, you got a nigga working for you. You got a nigga working for you, but you don't run this nigga here, so cracker, you shut up. <laughs> I think the language that Petey used was intended to shock, and I think some of it was just the nature of his environment and upbringing. Now this is a good and crazy cracker, so I'm gonna let him talk, but I want all the niggas at home to let this cracker educate you how ignorant crackers can do while I Where, where's educate the cow? crackers how intelligent niggas can. Go ahead and rap, nigga. Oh, wait a second. How the name is Petey Green? That's a slave name! Words have never, never, never hurt anyone. It's the action of a person that has the lasting effect. On Saturdays, when you used to be on on Saturdays, right. I would get up at uh, 8 o'clock to watch a show. People say, well, what are you watching that guy for? They say, what are you watching that nigga for? What, the nigga. Right, say it. Take it out. <laughs> Forget the word nigga, the honky and cracker and all of those words. His biggest thing to get the effect that he want is that he would walk up in a crowd of very attractive women and he would just pick one out and just go right for the jugglers. Say, I sure would like to Okay? Someone would say, Petey, just get out of here. I know that a cracker looks at all niggas as one. You understand? You look at Robin as a nigga like you look at me as a nigga. Now, you might take a little step another dimension and try to jive it off, but all crackers and all niggas have racism in them, including me. So we got all got a little bit of racism in us. So you could be raised up in New York and heard them talk about niggas, and I was raised up in Washington and heard them talk about crackers. The racial thing is not what you and I are about. We just like people. I know that you like people. That's why, you know, when you hear people say, oh, here comes Petey, I'm getting out of the firing range because you never know where he's going to come from. I listen to your show and I go on and use your material. Oh, well, I know, I know you do. He was intentional.